Hello and welcome to The Wargamer and you're joining me for another unboxing of Bolt Action products. This time I'm looking at the Band of Brothers Star Set, which is the new Star Set that was developed for um, Bolt Action 2nd Edition. And in here you get everything you need to start playing Bolt Action. So flipping this box over, we can see the contents inside and we get uh, 24 plastic US Airborne and these are the new Airborne that have been recently released, as well as uh, 12 plastic German Grenadiers. We also get the uh, SDKF Z25110, which is the Pack 36 variant. We also get a rune building, 12 pin markers, 10 order dice. Uh, we get some uh, generic D6 dice. We get some um, templates and markers as well. And also a mini rulebook and reference sheet. So I'll be opening this box up and taking a look at the contents inside. So let's kick things off by looking at the uh, starter guide. And this set is called Band of Brothers because it focuses on the US Airborne and Germans in Normandy, which is of course what the TV show and also the book series Band of Brothers uh, focused on as well. Now in here we get some background about the US forces as well as a little bit of a rule snippets just here. And these are elaborated on uh, later on as well. And also get a brief kind of rundown of the contents of the set and explains how to assemble your forces to use them in a kind of a usable way. So it obviously explains how to assemble an officer, the two squads, and also the, the Pac-36 Hannah Mag as well, and then also your American team. So you've got your command squad here, you've got an uh, MMG team, and then two infantry squads as well. And also your rune form asset at the bottom. And this brings us to a really nice way of guiding you through introducing you to the rules of bolt action. This is great whether or not you're a, an initial beginner who's never played bolt action before or if you're uh, an existing player who just wants to learn how to play uh, second edition because it kind of points out the two things that you get in here. So it starts off by explaining the game, how it's set up, and then it goes into the actual almost like a mini battle report with each section being broken down so it starts off with fire orders, advance orders, how pinning tests work, how range of weapons work, um, morale down, vehicle combat, everything's really nicely laid out, very simplified, really great way of actually getting into learning how this game plays indeed. And it also kind of gives you um, a way of playing the game, so rather than the previous set which just had two infantry squads, two, three infantry squads, and stuff. it kind of built up. This pretty much gives you everything to use in the star set at once, and it gives you a really good um, way of learning everything in here. So you've got cover, vehicles, infantry squads, commanders, all those things like that. Now there is actually an also a little rulebook editor section here, which uh, I would definitely look at. There's a few uh, typos in the rulebook we'll be looking at shortly. Now on the back of here we get the bolt action play sheets. We actually get um, two of these. So we've got this one here, but we also get a uh, card insert as well. So you actually get two of these. So one of you could uh, use the back of this and the other person could use this reference sheet. And it has a weapons chart in there, hit modifiers, the orders breakdown, and morale breakdown, lots of different damage results, things like that. Very easy and quick reference points when you're playing your game, so you don't have to go flicking through the rule book. Which brings me to the next object we'll be looking at. So here we have the Bolt Action 2nd Edition mini rule book that we get in the set. And this is pretty much just the same as the full size rule book albeit much smaller. So the image is a little bit smaller, the tank's a little bit smaller, but pretty much everything else is in there. So you've got all your standard rules in here um, that you need to play the game. Everything goes into a little bit more elaboration than it does in the quick start guide. So you can play through the quick start guide, use this as a reference point, and also uh, how to explain some of the rules that aren't explained in the quick start guide, such as artillery, mortars, things like that. So in here we get all the rules, as, uh, as I've already said. But then towards the back we actually get some mini army lists as well. And these aren't the same as those which you find in the armies of Germany or armies of the US. They're kind of like mini versions of them, but the great starter places as well. So before you actually go ahead and commit to a particular army, you can have a look at what roughly the units are like, what kind of special rules they have. So we've got Germany, we've also got um, the US, and we've got the British as well, moving on to the next section. And then we also have at the end here, with the Russians, and then finally the uh, Japanese forces as well. So pretty much all the main forces that are supported by Bolt Action are listed in here. So with the rulebook lo looked at, let's move on to looking at some of the order dice. So inside the box we get three different types of dice. So we have uh, some standard D6 dice here, uh, these small little mini dice that you can use for your uh, D6 tests. But then we also have these two colors of order dice. We have this olive drab color here and also this gray color here. So these are the Germans, these are for the US forces. Now these dice, instead of having D6s, also have these uh, different um, orders on them. So we've got ambush, rally, fire, run and advance and then finally down as well. Now these also act as scatter dice so you can see the arrow there you would roll the dice 
and then where that arrow is pointing would be where the scatter occurs. So there's two different colors there, and if you're familiar with the bolt action rules, it's because you will place these together in a pot and then blindly draw them, and then whoever gets drawn gets to activate their unit of this color. So in this case, it'd be the Germans. So some uh, nice dice to get you started off with there, and actually you get enough dice in here to not only cover the units that you get in the uh, the demo mission but also get an extra few extra if you want to assemble them differently or add a few extra units or squads there. So that's the dice looked at, let's move on to the tokens. So inside the Band of Brothers starter we get two sets of tokens. The first set has all of these uh, various tokens representing different conditions. So we've got hidden tokens, we've got snap to action tokens there, indirect fire, we've got artillery or air support markers, immobilized and turret jams as well. We also have these markers as well because in Bolt Action 2nd Edition one of the things that's changed is the way in which uh, high explosives work. So instead of it being a number of hits on a unit, it's actually the number of units under a certain template. So we've got a, a one inch there and also uh, the four inch here as well. So the next set of uh, tokens that we get are these pin markers. Now instead of the previous set just having tiny little bits of card that you apply to your units, these instead have these really nice little dials. So you can see on here we've got the set of numbers and it starts from uh, 1, goes all the way around to 12, and you basically add these small little uh, explosions to the top of these little panels here, and you turn them around to depend on um, which how many pin marks that particular unit has, and you just keep this nearby. So it's very easy to keep track of. When you're moving the unit, you just one uh, item you have to move rather than having to move multiple pin markers. It's very, very simple, very, very straightforward. And also you can paint these up as well, but we've got these nice clear plastic explosion Markers. Now these are the same ones that are actually we saw in the Gates Ventara's star set as well, if you can remember my unboxing of that, so very very useful indeed. So that's the tokens and the rules looked at, let's move on to taking a look at some of the miniatures that we get in the Band of Brothers star set. So the first miniature we'll be looking at is the Pack 36 half track. Now in the previous star set you just got a generic uh, SDK FC uh, 251 Hanamag, which is the transport capability, but this is a little bit more interesting because you actually got um, some close support um, guns that you can apply to this vehicle. So it's a bit, a little bit different. Rather than being a transport, it's more of a support vehicle. So we've got the uh, the transfer sheet here that you can apply some decals to. We have a very uh, simplified, straightforward instruction guide on this uh, single piece of paper here. And then we get the three sprues in the set. Now this spread set is actually a really nice set of sprues. So the first set is for the Pack 36. So we've got the loader there. We've actually got the Pack 36 itself, and we've also got these panels that sit in the side there. Uh, and then you can see we've got these ammo racks in there as well. And one of the nice things is the actual gun shield. You can see just there all the nice riveting detail that we've got on the front there. This brings us to the other sprues, which are mainly used to actually build the Hanamag itself. So this one contains the chassis. Everything's pretty much in a single piece there. We also have some of the crew as well. That If you're assembling this as a standard transport vehicle, you could put your German Grenadiers in the back there. Alternatively, you can keep these separate and use them uh, as a transport capacity for another set, or you could even use them in a diorama. But we get this uh, MG36, uh, we've got a bedroll there, some spare helmets, we've got the tyres down here, everything's very nicely detailed as well. The final set is the actual, the rest of the hull, so we've got kind of what the under uh, carriage of the actual vehicle there as well as the tracks which come in single pieces which makes painting them much easier and assembly much easier as well and a few more storage items so we've got some uh, small rolls here some jerry cans and also an additional mg42 as well so that's the uh, half track looked at let's move on to the grenadiers so here we have one of the Grenadier sprues, and this sprue gives you enough components to make six Grenadiers with a range of different weapon options. Now I've already reviewed these in a separate video previously, and I'll include that link in the description below. It's a much more in-depth look at these, this kit and how you can assemble them as well, but I'll give you a quick overview here. So we've got, um, we've got some bolt action rifles, we've got assault rifles, we've got an MG42 that you can use to create uh, an LMG squad or even an MMG squad if you wanted. Uh, we also have some Russian weapons as well. So we've got this uh, PPSH there, we've got an MP40, lots of different head options. So we've got some helmeted down here, uh, we've got a peaked cap and also these uh, field caps as well. Uh, Panzerfaust if you want to equip some uh, anti-tank capability to your squad. Lots of different weapon options you can see here and different items for packs as well. So that's the Grenadiers locked at, let's move on to the US Airborne. So here we have the US Airborne sprue, and this also comes with enough components to make six US Airborne, and we get four of these sprue in the set, so you can make uh, 24 US Airborne altogether. And these sprues really are fantastic. I haven't had a chance to look at these 
on the channel just yet, but I'll be looking at it in depth here. And we've got lots of different weapon options. So we've got a Thompson there, we've got a BAR, we've got an M1 Garand, more Thompsons. We've also got uh, lots of different kind of slung over the shoulder weapons there, as you can see. Um, we also have some heavier weapons. So we've got this um, Browning 30 cal as well. Now this is great because you can actually deploy this uh, as you can see here, we've got this lying down body. You can deploy this as a whole weapon team, so you can have your three guys all lay down on the ground operating this weapon. Really nice, interesting kit. And one of the things that's great as well is the fact that all of the um, the pack and also the different webbing equipment is, kind of comes in one single piece for the most part, which makes assembling the miniatures much easier because you can just uh, glue one item, clip one component off, glue one component on. Very, very simple indeed. We also get a few other items, so we've got this uh, rather brutal looking machete there, and also um, this arm here that's carrying the uh, 1911 pistol, some binoculars, and then lots of different head choices. So standard helmeted choices. We've also got some of the iconic uh, mohawked heads just down at the bottom here. It's a very interesting sprue indeed. Now I've actually produced a painting tutorial for the US Airborne, and I'll also include that in a link uh, below as well. You can see one of these guys fully built, assembled, and painted. So this brings us to the final item in the box, and this is of course the Ruined Farmhouse. Now some people may get the Ruined Farmhouse, some people may get the Ruined Building instead, but this is the Ruined Farmhouse. Now this is the same building that we got in the first Bolt Action Star Set, and it can be assembled in a multitude of different ways, but most commonly you would expect to have this large panel here and this ruined wall. So it's pretty, very much a uh, Normandy style old cobblestone uh, building that's been hit by shell fire and has been destroyed. You've got large a uh, hole in the wall gouged out in these two places there and also this large panel of the wall missing. We also have some really nice interesting uh, roof panels and also floor panels that you can see where the actual roof, roof tiles have been destroyed and fell off. Very nicely detailed kit as well. Now I did assemble one of these previously for my original unboxing of the first star set which you can find in the description below just as a comparison between what you get in this one and the previous one as well. And it is, was quite difficult to assemble if I remember rightly. Some of the features in here as you can see when you actually line them up you can see they don't perfectly line up which means you have to use either a lot of uh, plastic glue or if like me you just use super glue instead because it's just much easier so it's slight amounts of warping there you can see but it does kind of work actually because this building is very um, very old probably not particularly well built and obviously been hit by a lot of artillery fire so it's probably um, pretty much ex uh, expected that it would be quite warped and damaged but it really acts as a nice centerpiece for starting off your bolt action games you can use it as an objective or you can just use it um, in your later games when you've built up a larger scenery collection. So that's everything that you get in the Band of Brothers star set. Let's move on and get an overall summary for this box set. So that concludes my look at the Bender Brothers star set for Bolt Action. Overall, an excellent place to get started with Bolt Action. If you haven't played the game already, you can pick this up. You get everything you need to start playing, the rules, the miniatures. And you also can split it with a friend as well, so one person can take the Germans, one person can take the US uh, forces in here. Now, even if you're actually an existing player, it's still a really great way of getting into second edition because as well as some of the new miniatures in here, you also get the second edition uh, Bolt Action rulebook, which means you've got a, a nice compact little rulebook you can take uh, along to your gaming sessions and considering the full size hardback rulebook is £30 and this is has a £75 RRP it's actually not too bad considering the amount of miniatures you get in here because if you were to break down the, the miniatures and the uh, the ruins, the markers and the dice and everything you're looking at around about £76 RRP anyway and then also the reference guides and everything you get in here makes this an excellent uh, value for money box set now, if you'd like to pick one of these up for yourself, I'll pop a link in the description below. It should take you directly to the Warlord Games web store where you can uh, pick up your own Band of Brothers box set. And if you enjoyed this unboxing, please do let me know in the comments below. And also subscribe to be kept up to date with all of my future videos. And until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.